Hello and welcome back to yet another video of my series Ex Libris where I'll talk all about new fencing books um, not the original ones but new ones that came out from modern fences um, for the ones who don't know me my name is Stefan I'm a professional photographer and fencer from Vienna and today we have something new I will be talking in English uh, I don't really like it so you have to get on with it but I don't really like to put down English subtitles under all my videos I really hate it so why not do it in English after all today we will be talking about a book I got almost one year ago it's called meditations on HEMA mind changer ideas that move HEMA Meditations on HEMA, it's a compendium by Herbert Schmidt, another fencer from Austria. He's doing Sword and Buckler in Vorarlberg since forever. And in this book, he got 31 experts, let them call experts, very long time fencers, instructors, uh, workshop givers at events. And he asked them one simple question. Oh, simple. What have you changed your mind about in HEMA and why? So some hard facts about the book. It was published in September 2020, so almost a year ago. And it should be the first part of a series of books that's called Meditations on HEMA. And every year there should be another question that a lot of experienced HEMAists are answering. So I guess because there's no further information about the topic in the book, we would have to ask Herbert himself what he is telling us about that. Um, the book came out via Sofa Books. And first thing I actually don't like, they publish via Amazon Print on Demand. And uh, two reasons why I don't like that. I don't like Amazon and I don't like soft cover books. If you get all them real good guys from HEMA putting a book together, give them a hardcover. They deserve it. But yes, so far so good. You can get it on Amazon for like 15 euros and yeah, why not? Layout is fine. Let's jump right into it. So what can you expect inside of this little book? Um, the people who wrote their essays were all asked the same question and no wonder some answers sound the same. Everybody was more or less putting their own background story in it, how they got to HEMA, how they started out a long time ago when there was not the HEMA we know today and which difficulties they had in the beginning time and how they coped with them. Which is very interesting to read if you're not so long in HEMA and you don't know all these people yet uh, just to get a bit of background information about the HEMA community so I really like that about it. The stories sometimes sound more or less the same because yeah we had troubles in the beginning we made our mind up about HEMA and we try to stay open-minded for the future which is a pretty good advice and So dry and it's nice to see that many people had the same thoughts you maybe had in the past years or struggled with the same topics and went to the same processes in getting further and further in HEMA and what's also the most interesting is actually for me if you read stories that had not the same approach as you but went different way and that you cannot kind of reflect on your own HEMA and your own process and your own way of managing things when your HEMA training is not going well or when you're stuck somewhere inside the sources and you don't know your way out. So I can really recommend this also to very experienced fencers, except if you're a little grumpy cat and you know everything better anyways. So all in all, it's a pretty interesting read. Just take the book, read a chapter before you go to bed and think about it in your dreams. So who is this book for? 
Actually, it's I would recommend it to anybody who's into HEMA. Maybe not if you're like a real, real beginner, like you just started your first HEMA class, then maybe some things in there can be confusing. Other things may be good to know from the start, but don't make your mind up too much before you even know how to cut an overhaul. And if you're inside HEMA for a long time, you maybe know it already, you maybe know a lot of people in there and this makes it even more interesting to read some stories of some good old friends. What would I recommend you if you read this book? Um, don't read it all at once. Read every essay one at a time and then take the book, put it into a corner for a few days and really try to think about what you've read in that one essay only for the next few days so that the title of the book's Meditations on HEMA really makes sense. Last words on the book. I really enjoyed reading it. There were a lot of interesting, fascinating stories in there. Um, I am very excited about what the next question will be for this series. I don't know. It's kind of hard to top this one. But I'm sure it will be interesting and I really hope it will come in a hardcover. One more thing. Next book I will be talking about is this one. The Swordmanship of Renaissance Italy by Accademia Nazionale di Scherma Editore. And I'll tell you everything about it in the next one. See you and goodbye.